you guys, so this is problem number four from uh, chapter five on op amps. And we have here um, an op amp where the negative terminal is connected to 10K and then to 5 volts. And then the positive terminal is connected to 3K and 6K here to 3 volts. And here we have a 5K feedback resistor and we have 4K and um, we need to find IL. Well, remember in an op amp that the negative voltage at the negative terminal is equal to the voltage at the positive terminal. And in this case, we um, don't know what the, I mean, it's not zero, it's not just connected to ground, so it's equal to something, and we need to find that in order to know this, in order to do um, the node voltage right here to solve for V out, because V out over 4K will give us IL. Okay, so VP, to solve for VP, we're just gonna do um, KCL at VP. So we have VP minus three over six K plus VP over three K is equal to zero. And that's just an algebra problem. And I'm gonna assume you know how to solve for VP. So what you should get is VP is equal to one volt. Therefore, we know this is one volt. We know that here we have one volt. Okay, so Vn is equal to Vp. Um, so now, now we know that information. Resist the temptation. We have to resist the temptation to say, okay, well, I could just do V out minus this or feedback resistor plus V out over 4K is equal to zero. Um, that wouldn't be a true state. And then solve for V out by, um, by doing that. And then, you know, you would, you, you, you would, be thinking that okay, well, I have just one one unknown, and uh, you know I can solve for V out by doing that. It doesn't work because there is a current going in this direction. So it's really the true equation is um, KCL here is going to be V out minus one volt over five k plus V out over one k plus I x whatever that I is, and then now you would have two equations, um, or two unknowns and one equation. So doing a no voltage equation here would require a second um, a second equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to do no voltage here and at Vn and um, solve for V out that way since um, right here we we already know what v, Vn is. So let's go. We have 1 volt minus 5 volt over 10k plus 1 volt minus V out over 5k, and the current here is assumed to be is zero. So, so that's every branch here. This this current, this current, this current, I n is zero. So we'll just go plus zero to represent the I n. Well, plus I n, which is zero, and that's equal to zero. So now we have one equation and one unknown, and uh, something that we can solve. So we have um, negative v out over 5k is equal to that. Um, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to assume that you can do algebra. Solve for V out. Pause the video, solve for V out. And uh, you should arrive at V out is equal to negative one volt. OK, so now we know what V out is. Then we know what IL is. So IL is equal to V out over 4k, which is equal to negative 1 volt over 4k, which is equal to 200 negative 250 microamps. And that is the answer.